So Smash Ultimate is the ultimate Smash game. Huh? Eh. Uh, the fact this game is doing the everyone is here thing makes me think that a reboot is the next likely option. So what do I think will appear in the Smash Bros. reboot? Let's talk about it. So, first thing we need to talk about is, of course, the roster. Obviously, this game is going to have a much smaller roster if it's a reboot. I think for this game, it should be 30 characters. A lot of people agree on that, so yeah. Those characters are organized by categories, and there's three per category. There's Mario characters, which includes Mario, Bowser, and either Luigi or Peach. Mario subseries characters, which includes DK, Yoshi, and Wario. Zelda characters, which includes Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf. Space characters, which includes Fox, Samus, and either Wolf or Ridley. Fire Emblem characters, which includes Marth and two characters from whatever the newest game is at the time. Sakurai characters, meaning characters from Kirby or Kid Icarus, which includes Kirby, Pit, and a wild card character from K either Kirby or Kid Icarus. Modern Nintendo characters, which could include a plethora of characters, but for the sake of this video, we're going to choose these three. Pokemon, which would include Pikachu, because he's the most iconic Pokemon. A Pokemon from the current generation at the time. I'll use Grookey as a placeholder, but for the roster builder image, I used Sichuai because, you know, roster builder. It's like that. And the and the Pokemon from whichever generation is getting remakes at the time. I use Lucario because Gen 4 remakes. Retro characters, which would include Duck Hunt, Rob, and Mr. Game & Watch. And third parties, which would include 3 out of 5 of these characters. If you notice, I mentioned a lot of this or that characters. Because trying to cut the roster down to 30 characters is a difficult thing to do. So my solution for this is to have a DLC character released every 1-3 to three months. Say the base roster includes Luigi, and as DLC they add Peach. That could work, right? You may have also noticed something else. Only around four newcomers, depending on if you count the remake character, the remake Pokemon. Well, for this game, each character would be treated as a newcomer, even the veterans. This means all the returning characters would receive completely new moveset. I know Blot the Skaz already made this point. But then look at Mario, for example. His moves are taken from Super Mario Bros., World, 64, and Sunshine. What a police lineup. Mario, as well as the other returning characters, will have completely revamped movesets, which actually makes sense for the character. Alternate costumes, as well, will be revamped. Instead of loosely representing other things from that character's series, or just doing Roy G. Biv, the character references are all tight. For example, Mario would have, say, 10 costumes. Each character would have a different amount, but each of them would have at least 8. Mario's costumes would consist of Normal Mario, Fire Mario, Ice Mario, Flying Mario, Classic Mario, Builder Mario, Wedding Mario, Dr. Mario, Tanuki Mario, and Strikers Mario. Each character would also have their own victory theme instead of sometimes having their own and sometimes sharing it. I actually made a video on my second channel of what they would be, so go check that out. <laughs> stages? I think that the easiest way to come up with a stage list is by assigning a stage to each character. Now you notice some of the stages I said either or, so at the end of this list I'll include some alternative stages, or honorable mentions if you want to call them that. We have Mushroom Kingdom, Bowser's Castle, Luigi's Mansion, Jungle Hijinks, Yoshi's Island, Wario's Castle, Hyrule Field, Hyrule Castle, Ganon's Castle, Corneria, Brinstar, Pyrosphere, Arcania, a location based on the newest Fire Emblem at the time, Battlefield, Green Greens, Sky World, Castle DDD, Moray Towers, Smashville, Distant Planet, Pokemon Stadium, a stage based on the current Pokemon Gen, a stage based on the current Pokemon Gen being remade, Duck Hunt, Final Destination, Flat Zone, Pack Maze, Wily Castle, and Green Hill Zone. Extra stages include Peach's Castle, Gower Plain, Reset Bomb Forest, Hellbird, 
Spiral Mountain, and Insanity Island. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Now, throughout the series, each classic mode varied in levels of quality. In Smash 64, it was the same each time, which meant there wasn't much replay value. Melee and Brawl had the best classic modes in the series, with melees being based around different battle types and brawls being based around the different series represented. Smash 3DS classic mode was eh. Smash Wii U, go lay down. In Smash Ultimate, giving each character a unique classic mode was a good idea, but meant if you completed it with all characters, there was no replay value. I don't, I don't know why I said that so fast, but whatever. For this game, classic mode will be the same order of battle types as Smash 64, but the order of series will be randomized. No two categories of characters will appear twice, and all of them are represented in some way. There's another video on my second channel. It's a mock-up of what this classic mode would look like, and I use the first four Smash games to do it. Though... So the structure of the story mode would be 10 worlds, with 9 of them based on different Nintendo franchises, and the final world being, well, the final world. You start off with the main 4 Smash characters, and can go to these worlds in any order you want, except for the 10th world. Each world has 4 levels, and at least 1 character you can recruit. Once you defeat the boss of that world, you completed that world. The 10 bosses you fight are also used in classic mode. But will it have cutscenes? I think that the game could have cutscenes for some of it, while other times it would be like in the handheld Sonic games. Basically, when you're about to fight a character to recruit them, you see an interaction between the two characters, and it changes depending on which character you're using. This bird is baked. Now this is an idea stolen from Glock the Gauze. I feel that his idea of having a museum mode in Smash could really work. You pick a series, see trophies, spirits, games from that series, classic mode portraits for those characters, music, or hell, even demos of some of the games. A powerful rat named Charles Entertainment Cheese. This was one of the best parts of Smash 3DS, but it could be easily improved. Let us attack other players. <laughs> Now that there's less characters, we can get back to having a good all-star mode. In the game's past melee, it didn't have as much replay value due to it having a set order of characters as opposed to a random order, but it still feels like characters should be fought in chronological order. So I propose having the option of either a chronological all-star mode, which is unlocked after all the characters are unlocked alongside a randomized all-star mode, which you have from the start. So I think that's all for a Smash reboot. Of course there's stuff that would return that I didn't mention, like target test, home run contest, online, race to the finish, dark pit, and the chronicle. 